You know, he's one of the, he's a blue collar guy. He's one of the, he's just like all the fans here, Josh. Stupid? He's not stupid. Well, you said he's like all he's the fans here. He's a regular guy. He's a regular guy. He's a regular guy who's not too bright. Now he's trying to club his way out of it, but the damage has been done to that back. As soon as Leo Blaze gets another opening, oh, look at that, another power, power move in the back. Slam. Not smart. Hooks him. Yes. No. No, 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 no. Two, two. Only a two count right there. Only a two count right there. Well, a little confusion here. Mass in the sweats showing that only two. Andrew Hellman, and that's a right call by Chris Massey. For once in his career, Chris Massey makes the right call because Leo Blaze got the shoulder up there. Well, Leo Blaze got the shoulder up, but boy, was that close. But look at this. The, that, that little break, though, concentration could cost Andrew Hellman here. He's trying to go for more power moves. Oh! Hellman with that inverted jawbreaker the, spikes him. This, I think, will be it. No, Hellman he doesn't have the strength the to hook that leg. He does not have the yes, strength. Yes, he got him. I can't believe he had the strength to hook the leg. Okay, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the rebel with a cause. Andrew Hellman, not looking to be 100%. You defeated Leo Blaze tonight, but you're back, man. It doesn't look too good. And it's not. It's holding up about as well as a stack of hay in a windstorm. And it blows away real quick. But let's get to the matter of hand of what caused all this to begin with. See, Cedric the Hitman, he's gone off the reservation. Attacked me not once, not twice, but three times with the metal briefcase. That's going to leave anybody battered and bruised. But not everybody can continue on as I have. So Cedric... I'm still here, I'm still talking, I'm still fighting, I'm still walking. You're not done yet. So you better hone that scope in a little bit more and pull the trigger a little harder. Well, okay, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Hellman and Cedric the Hitman on a collision course. Stay tuned. This one is heating up. <laughs> Untouchable Ruben Iglesias mounting some serious offense now against the bigger Kyle Webb, chopping him in the corner. Oh, look at that. That's not a good move uh -oh. to do with a guy the size and strength advantage Kyle Webb has. Look at this. Webb now. Oh! Drop kick. We say it every week, but it's never less impressive. A guy that size who gets that agility, that big signature elbow after springing up, and he oh. only gets two. No way. He's, He's in the ropes. He's in the ropes. He got him. He got Come him. on, ref. He didn't see Kyle Webb clearly in the ropes. His feet were all tied up in the ropes. He should have broke that pinning combination. Ruben Iglesias stole another one. I can't believe it. How much longer is this atrocity going to be left to go here in Mach 1? Ruben in that stupid bracelet. Well, okay, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Resnick standing here with Ruben Iglesias, the holder of the Pure Energy Band. And, you know, Ruben, a lot of people have been asking me, and, and so I'm going to ask you, uh, what does the Pure Energy Band do for you inside the squared circle? Well, it gives me pure energy. Well, that, power, balance. I have more confidence when I'm in the ring with this band. As you've seen in the past month, I've been victorious. It doesn't matter who I'm in the ring with. Peter Avalon, Brandon Parker, Kyle Webb, they all fall victim to the band. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Pure Energy Band does a heck of a lot of stuff. You should go out and get one. This thing's awesome. Some blows. I don't know if that's the game you want to employ against Matthews. Oh! Matthews makes him pay for it. Jarek Matthews inverted atomic drop. This is what he's got to do. He's got to grab him, and he has got to toss him. Oh, look at this. Going to that dreaded corner now. Looks like he's yeah. trying to set him up for a big tornado oh, suplex. Tornado, a tornado suplex. suplex. What the heck was that? that I don't think was, I've ever seen that before. Well, it, I it, liked it. It looked pretty, but he didn't get the job done. Famous B kicks out it too, and he still hasn't put him away yet. Oh. Knee right in the ropes. Oh, big gut wrench suplex. This is what Jarek Matthews does best. Hooks him. No, Famous B out after two. Oh, look at this. Jarek Matthews pulling down the straps now. Looks like he's trying to psych himself up. He might be getting a little frustrated at the fact that he hasn't been able to put away the newcomer quite as early as he had oh, hoped. Matthews misses. Famous B rolls him up. Wait a second. Look at Feet that. On the ropes. He got him. Feet on the ropes. One, two, three. He Come just on. got Jarek Matthews and Famous B.
Chris B in his debut here in the MW Arena on Friday Fight Night is victorious. You know, I like Famous B. I like his athleticism. That was not the way I wanted to see him win that match. What are you talking about? You didn't want to see him pin Jarek Matthews, one, two, three, shoulders to the mat, because that's exactly what he did. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Resnick standing here with a newcomer to Mach 1 Pro Wrestling. Famous B successful tonight against Jarek Matthews, but Famous B, I saw it plain as day, buddy. You cheated. Cheated? You know what, Todd Pettengill? I didn't cheat. I did not cheat. I won that match fair and square. Everybody out here saw it. The referee counted one, two, three. The nerve of you, the audacity of you. You know what? I make my debut here tonight and this is the respect that you give me? As a matter of fact, you know what? It doesn't even really matter because I don't need your respect. I don't need these people respect out here. The only thing that matters is Famous B has arrived. Famous B is here. Mach 1 Pro Wrestling has <laughs> just gotten famous. Out of his boots! But gets caught by Good Time. <laughs> Hanging German suplex here delayed. Comes, here German comes Avalon now. Oh. Is that the martini? No. no. Oh, you went back up again. Now it's Parker's turn. Wow. Look, look at Mr. Biggs doesn't even know what to make of it on the outside. I'll tell you what, I gotta, I gotta take a nap after this match. This is exhausting. Oh man, I can't believe how close we came. Peter Avalon and Brandon Parker. Seconds away from becoming the M1W Heritage Tag Team Champions, and somehow or another, Johnny Yuma figured a way out of it. Come on, Parker. Come on, Avalon. Get to your feet. Oh, look at that. Tried for another German on Parker. Parker, his kick got caught. M1W Tag Team titles on the line. There we go. Double the stop to the back. Are as high as they can be. And now Parker. Oh! Wait. Got Avalon. Caught. Avalon has it measured. That's right. Oh no! No, oh. no, 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 no! Oh! What's this? Well, Mr. Biggs. He can't do that to Peter Avalon! No, oh. no, no, no! Here we go! Nasty, what are you doing? Parker. One in, one out! What are you doing, Nasty? Don't count this! Yes! How many more times, Jeff Resnick? How many more times are we going to sit and watch the Rock This Monsters just do whatever they want in a title match? Champions. Well, now Brandon Parker, Peter Avalon, and Mr. Biggs in the ring trying to regroup. Oh, look at this! Oh! What? What was that? Well, you know, we saw last week some dissension. What? Wait a second, these I guys think, are friends. What? I think Peter Avalon. What is going on here? Oh, Mr. Biggs is what's going on. I think Peter Avalon blames Brandon Parker for them not being the M1W Heritage Tag Team Champions right now, and rightfully so. Now, Peter Avalon, double underhook power. Damn. Oh, look Come at this. On. Peter Avalon, he has quested his entire career here in Mach 1 Wrestling to have gold around that waist of his. And tonight he came as close as he's ever come. Well, okay, ladies and gentlemen, it pains me to be standing in such a uh, sleazy company, pretty Peter Avalon and Mr. Biggs, turning your back on Brandon Parker tonight. What kind of tag team partner are you? Brandon Parker, I hair on my face. Brandon Parker, I took care of business. Because you see, the Rockness Monsters, they didn't beat me. They beat you, Brandon Parker. And I took out the weakest part of that team, you. So now, yet again, I'm by myself. But you know, Peter, you were in that match too. You were a part of that tag team. How can you blame Parker for the loss? You were, you were there. Jeff Resnick, are you watching this blindfolded? Did you not see what happened? I get thrown out, and then Brandon Parker, he gets hit with the amnesia or the explosive amnesia, whatever the heck they call that move. He got his head taken off. He lost. He didn't take care of business. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Peter Avalon has an excuse, but I don't think Brandon Parker is going to be hearing any of that.